Uh, my name's Matt Sharp. I'm originally from Wilmington, Delaware. I currently live in Monroe, New Jersey, central New Jersey. The dumbbell incline press is one of my favorite exercises. I do love the separation between chest and shoulder. I think that really separates uh, physique from some of the rest. Um, you know, dumbbell press, I don't really focus on going heavy. Uh, I did when I was younger. Um, I've hit 140 for five, five, six reps here and there back in the day. But, you know, now it's more focused on squeezing out at the top of the exercise, forcing the blood flow. Um, I found a lot of my more aesthetic changes have come, you know, when I focus on more form and light weight and, uh, you know, squeezing the blood blood flow into the muscles. So, um, you know, when, like I said, when I was younger, I really focused on, on going heavy. And now, you know, it's more, more about what I look like. I can move rather than what I actually move. My start in bodybuilding really came um, after I graduated college. I played college lacrosse and I'd always been very competitive. I had a love for the gym and I was really looking for something to extend uh, beyond my playing days. Um, since I wasn't good enough to go professional, uh, something that would really keep me entertained and, and keep that competitive edge. And uh, bodybuilding just came naturally to me. It was just, you know, a love for the gym, a love for fitness, and it all kind of fell into place. I do plan on competing this year. I plan on doing a show. I am aiming high uh, for my first show. I am looking at the New York Mets, which I know is a very competitive show, but I've always told uh, myself either go big or go home. So I figure if you aren't going to step on stage against the best, there's no point in competing. So I do plan on doing one, and uh, depending on how that goes, you know, hopefully another, another one later in the summer. Um, and, you know, with, with, with any uh, good grace, hopefully it will be for a national qualifier. So you never know. But, uh, yeah, I do plan on at least one, possibly two. One more. Cable crossovers are an, another um, favorite exercise of mine. I, I do like, again, the squeeze. You know, I emphasize the squeeze, and they allow you to really get that squeeze at the end. Um, you know, if you go light enough, you can also get a hold at the end. Um, and again, as I stress, that pushes the blood flow into the muscle. Um, and you'll find you get very tight. You get a nice pump in, in that uh, the area when you do squeeze at the end. And that is the blood circulating through, which is stimulating the muscle growth. So, um, you know, they allow, like I said, a very good squeeze, um, you know, very slow controlled motion. Um, and, of course, you've got, you know, the negative resistance since it is a cable. So, overall, it's a very good exercise. And, I, you know, one of, again, one of my favorites for chest. Uh, in my off season, uh, I get up to about 220. Um, I've pushed 225. Uh, I keep every off season. I kind of try and go a little higher to see see how far I can go. But it's generally about 220, 225. Um, I do plan on stepping on stage anywhere between 190, 195. Um, you know, it's all contingent on water weight and you know, seeing how how lean I can get before I step on stage. The close grip cable rows actually probably are my overall favorite exercise. Um, I do love pulling, um, and you know I like the stretch that it gives you. Um, I do like uh, the emphasis it puts on your inner back, um, and as many people emphasize the lats, um, I do like putting a lot of you know thickness and density in the in the inside of your back, and and these allow you to do so. Um, you know a nice squeeze, you keep your elbows in um, to really emphasize uh, the inner inner back.
the lat pull down uh, is a classic. It should be in everybody's back routine. Um, you need the wings, you know, you need the fly. So um, the, the, the wideness of your back is very important, uh, especially if you're stepping on stage. You need to have the V, you need to taper off. Um, so you need to really emphasize uh, bringing your lats out. And of course, this is one of the better exercises to do so. Um, just like the close grip row, it gives you a nice stretch um, and allows you to really contract your uh, lat muscles. Standing shoulder press is honestly uh, not something I really do much. It's uh, not one of my favorites. Uh, this was more for the aesthetic uh, look that it gave. Um, as you see, I'm not going too heavy. And uh, admittedly, large in part, that's because I couldn't go too much heavier. Uh, so, you know, again, not not one of my favorite exercises, but uh, definitely good to add to the repertoire. And after, after the shoot, I think I may uh, throw it in. Tricep push downs are a great exercise. Um, they allow you to do an isolation movement on your, your tricep, allow you to really focus on the contraction at the end. Um, as you see, I was leaning forward a little bit, put a little chest into it, and was contracting my stomach as well. Um, you know, I was really able to emphasize the squeeze at the end, um, you know, which really allows you to build that horseshoe. Uh, so again, it's an exercise I like, and as you notice, the theme to all of my, uh, my exercises are the concentration and the contractions at the end of the uh, exercise. So again, this was another one that allows me to really focus on the contraction. The dumbbell tricep extension is a good exercise uh, that focuses on isolation of the tricep, uh, focuses on the outer head, uh, bringing out the outer head on the, the horseshoe. Um, it's a good movement uh, to really focus on the contraction again. Uh, honestly, not an exercise I generally use uh, in my workout. This was more for the aesthetic purposes. Um, but again, a very good exercise when performed correctly um, and allows you to also focus on uh, tightening the core as well when you do this exercise, which is always uh, an added bonus to any exercise you do. Off-season dieting, um, I'm going to be honest, I, I, I upset a lot of people with my off-season dieting. I was blessed with good genetics. I do thank my grandfather for that. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I eat a lot of healthy carbs. I stay away from saturated fats. I stay away from sodium. Uh, but for the most part, carbs are my best friend. Um, I love pasta. Um, I do love rice. Um, and of course, you know, all my meals do contain high protein sources. Um, in the off season, you know, I, I tend to, to focus maybe on some ground beef, you know, maybe 80, 20 instead of 93, seven, um, you know, a little less lean, um, on the meats. Um, you know, and, and when I enter the, the, uh, pre-contest mode, you know, you switch over to more of a chicken tilapia, uh, based diet. So in the off season, I'd like to take advantage of enjoying my meals, you know, throwing maybe a little extra cheese on my burger. Um, you know, I don't eat the cleanest, uh, but at the same time, I, there are certain things, like I said, the sodium, the saturated fats that I do avoid. 
Um, so you always want to maintain a certain level of health in the off season, even when you are bulking. Um, it is okay to eat the extra carbs and whatnot, but uh, you know the stuff like the sodium and the fats, there really is no need for them, and then there's no benefit from them. So if you can keep them out of your diet, that's the that's the best thing. And as you saw, we finished uh, with the cable straight bar curl. Um, this is a great exercise to finish with. Uh, as you saw, I was very gassed at the end. And this really allowed me to focus on squeezing, uh, pushing the blood in, pushing the blood into the peaks. Um, these exercises, you don't even need to go really heavy on. Uh, you can find a, a good weight that's going to give you a little resistance and really focus on squeezing at the end. Uh, again, a great exercise to do at the end of an arm workout, um, and it really focuses on just pushing the blood in, getting that pump, and uh, you know, really fatiguing the muscle. I do own a nutrition store named Nutrition Zone, uh, located on 140 Route 10, Randolph, New Jersey. Um, I'm there Monday through Monday. Um, you can come down, any advice, uh, whether, whether it be with dieting, supplementation, uh, or training, uh, we do help out with. We do match and beat any price online and any advertised price, uh, so we do take care of you on that end as well. Uh, so stop down and see us. Uh, we're open 10 to 8 during the weeks, and on the weekends it's uh, 10 to 6 and 10 to 5.